Hello Autism Ontario campers and welcome to Science Experiments with Ali. Today we are going to be doing a summer ween version of a science experiment and we are going to be making our own inflatable pumpkins using balloons. Um, we could also be making an inflatable ghost depending on which balloon color you choose to use. So if you choose an orange balloon, it's going to become an inflatable pumpkin. And if you choose a white balloon, it's going to become an inflatable ghost. So first things first, I'm going to go over all the materials with everybody, make sure that we have everything ready, and then I will be going through the science experiment with you and showing you how you could make your own inflatable ghost or pumpkin using a balloon. So we'll get right into it. Okay, so the materials that we're gonna be using for this science experiment are going to be one empty water bottle. Um, we're going to need one balloon. It depends if you wanna use an orange one or a white one. We need one tablespoon. You're going to need a funnel. You're going to need a measuring cup, some white vinegar, um, we're gonna need baking soda, whoops, baking soda, and then we're going to need a Sharpie. So those are all the things that we're gonna need in order to successfully inflate our own balloon or ghost. So we'll get into it and I'll show you the steps of our science experiment next. All right, so to get started, our first step is we're gonna grab our white vinegar and where it says um, half a cup, you're gonna fill the measuring cup with vinegar until that the line that says half of a cup. So we'll do that first. see that it is half a cup. That's our first step. So now that our vinegar is in our measuring cup, you're going to move it aside and you're going to grab your balloon and you're going to grab your marker. And this is where you get to draw your little design on your balloon. So if you have an orange one, you can do a little pumpkin face. If you need a pumpkin face example, there's one on my shirt. Um, and if you're doing a ghost, then you just draw a little face on your white balloon. So I will go ahead and draw a pumpkin face on here. So the third step is you're going to grab your balloon that you just drew on and you're going to place the, the smaller end of the funnel inside the balloon. Okay, so once you put it inside the balloon, you're going to, you're going to grab your baking soda and you're going to fill um, a tablespoon with baking soda. So we'll just fill this tablespoon with baking soda. tablespoon is filled with baking soda you're gonna grab your balloon and grab your funnel and you're gonna pour it all in there and you're gonna keep shaking it until it goes all the way into the balloon just shake it
funnel so you could feel all of it there that was our next step so the balloons full and the next step is to remove the balloon from the funnel all right so now we're on to the more exciting steps of this experiment so what you're going to want to do is grab our vinegar and our measuring cup from before um, and you're going to pour this into the water bottle So now we have our vinegar in the water bottle and the next step, we got to be tricky with this step because we're going to want to keep the balloon down so all the baking soda stays in the balloon, but you're going to kind of go midway on this little um, end of the balloon here and you're going to pinch it with your fingers and open it up. But in this, the balloon again needs to stay down because we don't want to mix it yet because that's the fun part. So what you're going to do is when you stretch it open, you're just going to Pull it over the top of the water bottle, but being super careful that you don't drop anything inside yet. So the balloon will just be hanging down like that with it over the lid. And we're almost ready for the very final part of the science experiment. Here we go. So our last and final step of this science experiment is to lift the balloon all the way up and let all the contents the baking soda go inside and the balloon will start to expand and unfortunately you can't really see oh can you and then you'll be able to see your little design and it's expanding by itself so so there we go there's our expandable pumpkin using baking soda and vinegar super cool i'm just gonna quickly draw on my face again since it disappeared so we can get a better look